Hey guys, still here and welcome back to Shipyard Champions. Part of Ultimate Admiral Dreadnought's challenges. And this time, we're doing an unequal trade. We have to protect a convoy while defeating the other convoy. So this is going to be a very complex fight because I'm going to have to try and keep my own ships alive and sink the enemy transports. But the enemies are defended. The AI ships are one heavy cruiser three lights and three destroyers, or I can pick two heavy cruisers, two light cruisers, and one destroyer. Now, my ships are going to be a heavy cruiser with a top speed of 19 knots, two light cruisers, or one light cruiser and two destroyers. So, considering the scoring system, I'm going to pick the fewest ships on my side and the most ships on theirs. Because I have half a point for every enemy warship sunk. So I want the enemy to have most ships. If I give them two heavies, two lights, and one destroyer, then it doesn't necessarily give me a lot of points. If I give them one heavy, three lights, and three destroyers, that's seven ships, that's potentially three and a half points. There's also one point gained for each convoy ship sunk. That is enemy convoy ship sunk. Uh, half a point per ship if you manage to surrender them instead for the very, uh, sorry, for they uh, carry a very valuable cargo. So you're going to try and take this from them. I have no idea how I'm going to try and force a transport to surrender. You can only do that by eliminating a whole bunch of crew. Uh, you know, a transport doesn't exactly survive a whole lot of fire. Maybe a bunch of, like, what, two inchers? Which do absolutely no damage. 1.1s, perhaps? Uh, I don't think so. There is also subtracting points. You lose a point for each convoy ship lost. You lose a point for the loss of a destroyer or a light cruiser. And you lose two points for the loss of a heavy cruiser. So you gotta be careful. You better not lose your heavy cruiser. I'm gonna have two light cruisers as my assistants. But I think the two light cruisers are going to be dealing the most damage. Because I'm going to go with France, 1918, 7,000 meter range. I do believe that I might get those HE spamming cruisers. The enemy is going to have, as I mentioned, the most ships available, which is one, three, whoops, and three. And with this level of enemy shipping, I am making it more difficult for myself because that's a lot of firepower and if some transport of mine decides to, sh well, decides to spawn close to them, I'm going to lose the transport. And every ship that I lose from the convoy, I lose a point. So there is some RNG involved. Um, I cannot control what they shoot at. I cannot eliminate them quick enough to prevent any single strays from hitting a transport. Uh, it's a bit of an RNG factor that I don't like, but this is the task we've been given, so this is what we will carry out. Now, the heavy cruiser has some limitations. The heavy cruiser is only allowed to go 19 knots. Not particularly quick. It's the armored cruiser for the French. She has uh, a better cruising speed than that, actually. Whoops, 19. Um, unfortunately, I can't use it. As for her uh, main tower, the highest tier main tower, in my case number 8, not allowed. So we're going to drop down to 7. Then we get a secondary tower, which is an advanced rear. Um, it only says the highest tier main tower is not allowed. The highest tier secondary is. So I can get 6.5 base accuracy, uh, some better aiming speed. Yeah, I'll take it. Let's throw in a funnel system. First, decide what I'm going to get for engine type. Let's go for oil. I mean, <laughs> I generally tend to pick the most stuff here. Uh, oh, and we can supersize this guy. Ten and a half thousand tons. That's a pretty hefty, pretty hefty heavy cruiser for 1918. Group four. Uh, let's throw some anti torpedo protection on. Because the enemy is close. And what's the torpedo range? In this day and age, you have a range of nine clicks. Okay. Uh, 9.5 even. That's that's pretty dangerous. 
So, do I want to focus my own ships on torpedoes or not? No. Um, the torpedo launchers don't reload quick enough for my taste. But I have to be aware of their torps. So we're going to go with Hydrophone 2. We're going to get Coincidence 4, because it's the best. I don't need long range. Short range is fine. Gun aiming speed is important. Radio. 6% mm, gun aiming speed for 100 tons. Yeah. Should be, should be feasible. Now, this thing is not fast. So, yeah, there you go. One funnel is enough. Mm, there is a reason you might want to get another one, which is redundancy. Um, also, do those aiming speed buffs stack? Do they? Where's my aiming speed? 27.8. 31.5. Wait. <laughs> Really? What? Also, why did my weight drop when I added a second? Something's a little borked here. No, it's probably one of the Citadel mechanics. So, if I'm reading this correctly, I can add more and more and more funnels and get aiming speed every single time. In that case, I'm going to have to try and squeeze as many of those onto this ship as possible. There, we've got a 300% engine efficiency. And when it comes to aim time, we're now looking at 38.3. We get a 26% aiming bonus. As opposed to... 16. I like it. Okay. So, guns. Um, my whole strategy for this particular battle is going to revolve around Overwhelm. So we're going to go with HE spam. It's not particularly inventive. I do believe it will work. So we're going to go with a 6 inch. And triple. Whoa, you kidding? When I said overwhelm, I wasn't expecting this. More with. No, you can. Actually. Really? Holy shit, this thing has a lot of guns. That's nuts. That's 15 6 inches per side? I mean, not counting that, of course. That is... Wow. Very wow, indeed. And I can probably... I can do away with the barbette. I don't need the barbette. Um, center line, six inch, triple barrel. There and there. Yep. What? There's more? What the fuck? What? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 21 barrels? That reload in 17 seconds? That we can buff? That we can. No way. No way. You can fire every 10 seconds? Your range is atrocious if you take 20% off the barrels. Sure. But... If I take 10% off the barrels, what's my range? Hmm. At 19 knots, I don't like that. Not very much. Because I won't be able to get into range fairly quickly. Uh, so we're going to have to use this, and it gives me 8.5 kilometer range on HE. This is insane. I've never never built a ship quite like this. Um, less splash interference from own guns. That could be useful. Also less HE damage, and less shell damage overall. Okay, go heavy shells. Uh, I can go better boilers, but do I really need to? I mean... Funnel capacity is good enough as is with all these rangefinder things on there. Hmm. Give me armor or give me death. Preferably armor. I'll take armor. Superstructure, uh, 5 inch. We are fighting AI ships. We're not fighting player designed ships this time around. Thank God. 
because last time around that didn't go very well is an understatement can I get secondaries anywhere <laughs> no not if I built the ship out like quite like this no that makes sense I don't exactly have casemates either right oh I do Yo, dude, more guns. Yep. More guns, more better. Alright, we're going to boost the length on these. And we're going to make sure that the secondaries fire um, HE all the time. I wouldn't be surprised if we can wipe out a small ship like a light cruiser in two salvos, surely with the amount of fires that you set here. I am very eager to see this thing fight. Now, a little bit of tonnage left. Uh, steam steering might not be the best. We're going to be awful slow. And I don't want to lose any more speed. What's my acceleration? Could be important. About three knots per second. So this thing accelerates to flank speed at six seconds. I mean, flank speed isn't very much. It's 19 knots only. But yeah, um, how much do I lose in a turn? I decelerate like that. Uh, maximum loss, 62%. Are we going to balance rudder in there? You get more sustained speed while turning. So you should lose less speed, right? Did the game not understand? Or does it just not care? It just doesn't care. Okay, fair. We'll just do it like that then. Um, hmm. 694 sailors. 816 sailors. So we're adding 120 men. Something doesn't line up. The amount of men that I'm adding relative to the tonnage that I'm adding doesn't feel right. Hmm. I'm not going to uh, do the math right now, but if you feel like doing that, by all means, let me know down below in the comments. Okay, what else do I need? Uh, superstructure is... Yeah, that's a bit much. 6 inch, 7 inch 4, 7 inch aft. It's a bit heavy. 1, 1, 1. Fine, you're still heavy. Six, eight, six, eight. There we go. So this is uh, the uh, Rochambeau. Interesting design. I have never built something like this. I am eager to see it work, but we're not done yet. The light cruisers don't have a budget. They don't have a limit. They don't have a concern as such. Uh, sorry, I don't need to get another... CL, I need to get another, uh, sorry, I need to get another CL, I need to get another CL. This. What do we have? Scout Cruiser 1. You are a long and sleek boy, aren't you? semi armored Cruiser. It's not quite the terror hotels that I'm familiar with, but this will work. We also got this Scout Cruiser. This seems to indicate that it wants side-mounted turrets. This thing does not. Sustained speed, 29.5 knots. Sustained speed, 31. Damn. <laughs> you get around. 12,000 tons. 10, 10, 10, 12. 13? Oh, you're one of those. I hate those. Okay, lectures are... F oh... You are one of those. Nine and a half. Fine. We're going to go with this. The Tourville. Ten and a half tons. This thing is going to zip around. And pretty much like its heavy cruiser sister. Brother? It's going to spam HE. Because that is a phenomenal way to get rid of enemies very quickly. Unfortunately, this time around, I don't get the bone. Uh, I do? Hmm. Yeah, right. How do you see that happening? No, wait.
Make it so? No, they're not going to make it so. All right. I'll make it so. That's a lot of funnels. Flank, cadets. You might want to throw oil in there. Uh, better aux engine. Force the boilers. And we're going to go with electro-hydro steering. We're going to maintain speed in the turn. Give me all the krup. Give me all the triples. No torpedo blister available. That means don't get hit by any torpedoes. If you want to see your ship again. Pitch is not great. <laughs> Shall we say. Not great. Main guns, all the way up to 7 inch. Unfortunately, no Mark IVs. I could just, like, central. Hold your horses. Oh, come on. You know you want to. You know you want to. I guess we're going to have to go with something a little smaller. Which could be useful to take on the... DDs. Oh, you... What? These things are weird. Okay, we're going to overhaul this ship a little. If I want to get the 6-inchers, and I kind of do, I'm probably going to have to work for it. I'm probably going to have to do something wonky with the funnel setup. Oh, there's also these fancy things, the dual barbettes for medium guns. Wait a minute. Is this a... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. You give me the tools and I'll build you a monster. You should not have allowed me to do that. This is annoying, though. Okay, so we got a lot of firepower on the stern. And we're going to have to try now and get some funnels squeezed in here. Without them impeding the main guns too much. I'm going to throw as many secondaries on here as I can. Like so. Who needs lifeboats where we're going? Okay, so that doesn't fit. Let's start upping our equipment. It's going to be picric acid because HE. Max HE loadout, yes. Heavy shells, yes. Turn those turrets, load those guns. Listen to the radio. Listen to the torpedoes while you're at it. Quinston's rangefinder. Uh, all the superstructure armor. Is this one of those boats that you can get six all around? Because I think it is. Yeah, it is. It's a heavy crew, or sorry, it's the CL from Hell, um, at least design-wise. And by that, I mean these things are so heavily armored that it's going to be very difficult for the enemy to blow a couple of big holes in them. It's not impossible. It's just not very easy. And by some miracle, the ship is actually really well balanced at 0.9% aft weight offset. Firepower? Yes. <laughs> for a CL? In 1918, I'm not going to complain if you give me 16 6-inch guns. And then another 8 39, uh, sorry, 8 3-inchers for good measure. Alright, due to a misclick, I accidentally deleted the Rochambeau. <clears throat> so, uh, I had to rebuild her and I decided to build her a little different. She now has A, B, um, yeah, I'm not going to say X, Y, but just, just a whole bunch of wing turrets. Total firepower comes out to, uh, you're going to be dead real quick. Because she has 42, 42 6-inch guns. I'm not kidding. This is a 1918 heavy cruiser. 42 guns. Of course, she'll not be able to fire all of them at the same time. She has zero secondaries. Um, <clears throat> she can fire out to 11.4. Because I decided to make her barrels longer. So that ideally with one salvo, we set so many fires, the ship is dead instantly. That is the plan. So, we now have the Rochambeau, we got the Tourville, we're going to go into battle. 
All right. Interestingly, I don't actually see the enemy. Correction. Enemies have been detected. Would you look at that? We are going to send the Tourville and her sister ship La Lande, as well as Le Rochambeau, sorry, La Rochambeau. Uh, bring out all the six inchers, fire nothing but high explosive bolts of doom, and get rid of these ships real quick. Wind condition all your convoys slash all the enemy convoy ships are dead. Or two hours have passed in the battle timer. So those two things are things I want to, well, ideally get, I mean, by virtue of accomplishing the first. Eliminate all enemy ships. Uh, I don't care about your formation, especially if you're this far apart. So we're just going to send you that way, we're just going to send you that way. Uh, don't care about collisions because you're too slow for that. I get half a point for each warship sunk. I get one point for every convoy ship sunk and half a point, of course, if I manage to have them surrendered. Considering the treatment I'm about to submit these ships to, I think Surrender is not quite in the cards. Simply because they're going to have um, no ship left. Holy shit, would you look at that. That's one convoy ship dead in the first three minutes. And the second one just took four and a half K damage. And this is not even the ship that's broadside. This is firing, what, six turrets? Sorry, four? Which is still like an insane amount of firepower for a CL... Oh, sorry, a CA from this era. In this... <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what did I build? Let me know down below in the comments. What did I build? What is this thing? Tourville, smoke up. Hello. You're a heavy cruiser. Oh, you're a cute heavy cruiser. You got six 8 inch guns and 18 5.2s. That's a lot. Tourville. Turn to port. Get rid of them. La Londe. Uh, we're going to focus on the heavy cruiser. It might not be very impressive, but it still has the most firepower. And I don't want that. Rochambeau, turn to port. We're also getting some damage in on secondary targets, i.e. convoys, likely. Wait. How do we no longer see them? That's your CL, right? Yeah. Uh, that's pretty lightly armored for it's lightly armed for a CL. It's what, two torpedo tubes and four 5.4s. You are adorable, but beyond that, not very deadly. So, Lalonde. Bring to bear the six inches. And be sure to go broadside, because we got that nice little... Uh, triple stack on the stern. And I want to see that fire. I want to get results. Can you pen this at all? No. That's their CA. That The CA can't pen this. I don't understand really how the CLs are still this broken after this long. Because the game has had this issue, if you want to call it an issue, with the CLs, so the light cruisers, for a long time. You can very easily make these light cruisers so exorbitantly well armored that it's just almost impossible to take them down unless you bring some really big guns with you. Or you overwhelm them with HE. Like, overwhelming fires. That's another option. People, I'm trying to do business here. Having my ships constantly come under torpedo attack is not exactly beneficial. Oh, I got lucky there. I thought I would dodge that. Dimitri Donskoy. If everybody could stop lobbing torps at me, that would be delightful. Here is one of your main guns destroyed. That's the stern turret out of commission. Please don't hit my convoy. 
I like my convoy a lot. Uh, switch to the Ural. Wow, you can't pen the Ural either. <laughs> How much armor you got? Okay. That's a lot of armor. That is a lot of armor. Uh, as for these little DDs. These little... That's an interesting location for a torpedo launcher. How do you presume to work the middle launcher? Unless it's like an ammunition supply. Because I have done that. And it does work. Adding another launcher just to make sure that you have a bunch of extra torpedoes. It's a, it's a weird way to go about it. It does work. Here we go. Dimitri Donskoy coming under fire. Have you lost your torps or have you launched all of them? Reduced complement for torps. You've, you've launched all of them. Here we go. Lalonde engaging with all the six. The ship has already lost 20% of its crew. In that case, what have you... Cut this shit out. What have you done to the Dimitri? 10%. Not bad. There's the convoy. The Dimitri is turning tail and it looks like the C... Uh, sorry, the DDs are following course. So they're in a follow formation and these are a separate division. Good lord. This is just flat out unfair, right? That's the three inches. That's the six. Yeah. What if we fire H, oh sorry, AP range? Upscale to two and a half. Yeah, not very much AP pen. Boom. Extensive fire, that's one. Still a phenomenal way to get rid of a warship. Not the most creative. But it works so well. Destroyed another main gun? No, oh, it's the same main gun. Don't worry about it. 17% crew lost. Vityas can still... make itself a bit of an annoying little ship to deal with because it still has torpedo launchers. So we need to shoot those off. I can't exactly motivate my ship to do that. I can just tell it to shoot. Hit that particular target. Well, you might have an overwhelming fire pretty soon there, friend. Admiral Spiridov. Are you trying to take hits for your friend? Ooh. Well, they did force me to change course. So in that sense, they're successful. Ah, <laughs> the torpedo deflected. Changed course. <laughs> Lovely. Uh, is that CA dead yet? No, oh, they're thinking about it. They are definitely thinking about it. Perfect. And on top of that, I get another bonus, which is all the DDs are lined up. So if I start targeting this guy, the Zvonki, there's a pretty Zvonki chance that I'm going to hit the Metkiv and the Korshun as well. So let's do that. Could you cut this shit out? There goes the Dimitri. What are you doing, Spiridov? Oh, now we're murdering transports. With... Six inch? Dude. Yeah, be gone. <laughs> Alright, Tourville, you're gonna pursue that. Ah. Let off on the torpedoes already. Stop pushing buttons. Target Vichaz. They were very nicely lined up. I swear I'm gonna get hit by more torpedoes. I mean, they're definitely thinking about it. Yeah, more smoke. 
more steam. Hit the Salazen and then prepare to turn. See, there it is. Torpedo in the water. Torpedo in the water. Origin is the Korshun. Interesting, it's not even these. Speed it off, taken on water. Salazen is gone. Tourville this way. Rochambeau this way. There's a lot of torps in the water there. I shouldn't be spreading my fire out quite this much, but I was trying to eliminate the torpedo threat, i.e. shoot off their launchers. By first engaging one and then engaging the other, but effectively I didn't have to because, you know, the ships launched them anyway. But uh, La Lande was on point and swiftly dodged. Okay. You have to be kidding. Where is the CL? Here. Maximum speed. Just don't maximum speed yourself into a torpedo. Speed it off is down. Two fires. That's the six inches that are adding up. Five fires, seven fires, eight. Dude. Really? Just before you died. I'm going to start turning away here. I don't like the way that the Vityaz is looking at me. Because that still has launchers underwater. They're down to 43.5% crew loss. They're going to surrender. Gone. Okay. So that's that. Fuck's sake. I don't know which way to turn. Ow. Dud? Wow. That could have been a heck of a lot more dangerous. Because these things, at 19 inch, against the Rochambeau, I mean, I did give it a Torp 2 belt. It helps. It's not necessarily a guarantee of survival for this ship. Alright, Rochambeau, starboard turn. And fire all. Look at her. Isn't she a beauty? This is a piece of French naval engineering. It's when you go to the design bureau and they ask Admiral, Sir, how many guns do you want, sir? And the Admiral just replies, Yes. And six months later they come back with this. And you go, yes. You. I like you. I don't like you, however. You're gonna go all back emergency. Because I need to cut that turn circle. You're gonna turn in. Uh, full of head flank. Hard to port. Maximum port rudder. We'll be fine. Maximum starboard rudder. We're not fine. Ow. Well, at least the CA might still have a chance. Yep, Rochambeau is fine. Stop laying eggs. These annoying things. Oh. I was thinking I would only need to get lucky a few times against these DDs, yet they're proving to be a little more of a nuisance than I'd expected. I'm taking more time than I thought to take them down. I'm still well within the two hour limit. So in that sense, there's absolutely no problem. It's more of a, you know... Matter of honor, if you will, that I thought I would have taken them down already. What? That wasn't supposed to happen. Thankfully, I'm not getting penalized by points of damage taken. I was getting penalized for convoy ships lost, negative. 
Loss of a destroyer, a live cruiser, minus one point. Loss of a CA, two points. And so far, I don't think it's likely. Yet, they still have torps. So they still have potential. Target the lead destroyer. You've taken 10,000 damage, but you're still here? Oh, there you go. 13,000 damage. Target Zvonki. You two target the Metki. Get the job done. It does have a couple of launchers ready to go. They're aimed at Lalonde. I don't like this one bit. Ten. Go on then. Boom. Nope. I don't quite understand why they're turning away. They could have just rushed me and launched their torps. For some reason they decided not to. Okay. Catch up to them again. Hmm. Good dodge. That's the last salvo from the med key. Ideally, because otherwise... Nah, she can still reload. But that was... A, oh, that was the last reload of the triple. That was the triple salvo. So you still got the dual launcher, which reloads in 400 seconds. You're halfway through, so that's 200 seconds. I'm running it at times 5. So in about a minute, this thing is going to be ready to fire again. If I'm reading this correctly. So I better take it down real quick. Why are you trying to cower behind the surrendered Admiral Spitadov? Ungentlemanly warfare. Increase the flank. Oh, cut it out. Whoa. Okay. Unexpected. These torps suddenly start growing a brain or suddenly decide to start changing direction as I am dodging. Then that changes the whole dodge solution. What are you shooting? Zvonki. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Slow down a bit. Zvonki launched against the CA. Turn the Rochambeau. Fire, fire. Look at how sturdy these guys are. More fire. Armor. Yeah, respectable. For a DD. But this guy... There you go. Once they start flooding... Which the... <laughs> never mind. I was going to say, once they start flooding, they're toast. But uh, this guy is all sorts of toasty all by itself and doesn't seem to need any help. However, it is running. Pursue the angry smoke screen. You're out of torps. You're out of ammo for your mains. You only got AP left. Which is not going to be very beneficial. The thing that you might pin is the heavy cruiser. Actually. No, never mind. Completely impervious. We do need to slow it down, because this guy can keep me busy for a while at his 35 knots. So, I need to... <laughs> I need to pen it, flood it, and allow me to overtake it. Stop resisting arrest. Parcel pen. Fire. I don't need fires. I need a couple of really big holes in their hull. Some general damage that makes sure that the ship isn't as fast as it was. So that I can take it down. There you go. Flooding. Now you're going to lose speed. 25-6. Do 
to the really. You got a lot more speed than that. Flooding again. 18 knots, 17 knots. Finish it. My explosive. They just need like two hits and their crew dies. They surrender. Really? Were smoke screens always this obnoxious or is that, is that a new thing? Because this is not exactly what I was expecting. Here we go. More fire. 44%. 44-2. 44-4. Abandoned ship. Just thank you. Be done with it. Alright, so 8.55.05 is my time. Not that time is really important, but it might be used as a tiebreaker, I guess. Although, for this particular battle, I don't think we need one. Anyway, um, this mission was called Unequal Trade. And it was a very unequal trade. Because I did not lose a single ship. And the Russians lost all of them. Sorry, the Soviets. So, um, as for points... I was sinking seven enemy ships. That is seven warships. That's three and a half points. I also sunk five transports. So that's five points. I didn't lose any ships. So no negative points for a total of eight and a half points. Nice. Nice. Perfect score. Hope you guys enjoyed the battle. Let me know what your design thinking is on that little uh, cruiser that I decided to throw together. Both the heavy and the light. Um... And uh, I look forward to seeing you guys soon for more of the regular campaign videos. See you guys then.